Well, hello friends. This is Vinod, and today we are going to talk about jugular venous pulsation, the curve which we get in JVP. So let's start. Let's start with uh, the formation and the beginning of the curve. So when the atrium contracts, it leads to increase in the pressure in the right atrium. If when the right atrium contracts, it leads to the increase in pressure in the right atrium. So this increase in the pressure is it transmitted to the j uh, jugular vein and leads to the formation of A wave here. And after the contraction, the blood is already uh, pushed into the uh, right ventricle. So there is uh, and the atrium relaxes. After the contraction, the atrium relaxes. That's why the pressure in the atrium it starts decreasing. And while I'm speaking about the atrium, the I mean right atrium. So the uh, pressure in the atrium decreases. So it decreases till the point when the ventricular systole starts. During the ventricular systole, the ventricles contract and the tricuspid valve also closes so this leads to a back pressure back flow of blood little bit and the bulging of uh, tricuspid blood, valve into the right atrium this leads to a back uh, pressure increase into the jugular vein leading to formation of C wave this is the second peak in jugular vein, venous pulsation and then comes the X wave this is the first negative wave or first dip in jugular venous pulsation this occurs because as the ventricle contracts it uh, pulls the fibrocartilaginous ring to which the tricuspid valve is attached little downwards let me show you how it does let's say this is a right sided chamber of our heart this is atrium and this is ventricle when the ventricle contracts and this is the tricuspid valve when the ventricle contracts the ventricle becomes smaller but it also pulls down this fibrocartilaginous ring making the atrium a bit large now the volume of the atrium is uh, increased leading to decreased pressure that leads to formation of x wave and then again due to this decreased pressure blood starts coming into the atrium and this leads to increase in uh, the pulse pressure again leading to formation of V wave till this time the tricuspid valve is closed till, v time, uh, till the V wave now after V after the completion uh, after the blood is filled in this uh, right atrium the pressure of the right atrium increases and the valve opens and the blood is drained into the right ventricle this leads to formation of Y wave as the pressure is decreased due to the uh, flow of blood from right atrium to right ventricle